In this video we're going to run through some quick examples that we use our calculator to solve some trigonometric functions or find some trigonometric values. And really this is to make sure you're comfortable with your calculator. I'm going to do it on the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition calculator. Any calculator should work very similar way. Maybe the, the order you hit the buttons might be slightly different the trig function at the end rather than at the start but for the most part it'll be exactly the same procedure as I'm going to show you here. So the first example says use a calculator to find the functional value and use the correct number of significant digits so if we start with five significant digits we're going to finish with five significant digits start with three finish with three. So example A then says to find the cosine of 369.18 so we just do cosine 369 0.18. Now I just jumped right in there because I know which mode my calculator is set to. But if you're not sure, first thing you want to do, we're given degrees for all of these. Check to make sure your calculator is in degree mode. If it's not, put it there. And now you can enter that and hit enter and find that the answer to five decimal places or five significant digits is 78607. And so we'll continue then the 10 of 426.62 and we find that that's 2.3131 with five significant digits sine of 46.6 that has three significant digits so that will give us 0 decimal 727 when rounded to three digits cotan well we don't have a cotan button so we have to change that to 1 over the tan of 17.9 degrees. And we can do that on the calculator. 1 divided by the tan of 17.9. And that gives us 3.10 when rounded correctly to three, decimal, or 3 significant digits. So that's example 4. Example 5 asks us to now instead of starting with the angle, we have the ratio, find the angle. And that's the inverse function, so to find theta then, we do the inverse sine of 0 0.42. That has two digits, so we'll write our angle to two digits. Second function, sine inverse of 0.42. Shift or second function sine is typically what you would have to hit on your calculator. That gives us 25 degrees rounded to two digits. Theta, for example, 5b then is the cosine inverse of 0 0.29 so shift or second function cosine 0.29 gives us 73 degrees rounded to two digits and finally theta for C is the tan inverse of 0 0.91 and again shift tan of 0.91 is 42 degrees rounded to two digits. And so that's example five. We'll finish this lesson with example six, which is the same idea, but now we're looking at the secondary trig functions and we don't have buttons for those. So step one is going to be take the reciprocal of each side. So we want to change this to sine theta. That's the reciprocal of cosecant, but that means that's one over 3.6. And now we go to our calculator because now we can say sine inverse of 1 over 3.6 is equal to theta. And that tells us then that theta is going to be, well, let's check, sine inverse of 1 over 3.6. So that gives us 16 degrees rounded to two digits since 3.6 was two significant digits. I didn't mention it before we started the question, but again, we keep our calculator in degrees because we're asked for degrees, and we're also asked for between 0 and 90, so all of our angles should be in quadrant 1. And continuing then, for B cotan, the reciprocal is tan theta. Reciprocal of 2.1 is 1 over 2.1. Theta then is going to be the tan inverse of 1 over 2.1 which gives us second function tan inverse 1 over 2.1 which is 
25 degrees rounded to two decimal places. Cosecant reciprocal sine of theta, reciprocal of 1.63 is 1 over 1.63. Solving then theta gives us the sine inverse of 1 over 1.63, which is sine inverse of 1 over 1.63. Three decimal places, or three digits this time, so 37.8 degrees. Final example, secant, the reciprocal, is going to give us cosine theta equal reciprocal of 7. 0.25, which is 1 over 7.25. And we'll keep going across here because we're almost out of space. So theta then is the cosine inverse of 1 over 7.25. And if we stick that one on the calculator, cosine inverse 1 over 7.25 gives us 82.1 degrees when it's rounded to three significant digits. And so that's the end of that page and practice with your calculator. In the next example or the next video we're going to start solving right triangles. So put all that we've learned to use to solve a right triangle and then to solve some word problems. Now's a great time to go back make sure you understand everything up to this point in the unit and if not go get help with the parts that you're struggling with. And we'll see you in the next lesson.